Hey, I'm Myla Urbancic. I'm the owner of Boutique Academia. Um, so I wanted to show you today how to make these little wire stands that I use for um, holding up jewelry. Um, this is a really handy way uh, to display any kind of jewelry that's on a card. Um, and it can be bent in order to um, uh, put it at, at different angles depending on what your customers are um, how your customers are seeing the jewelry if it's in a display case um, that they're looking down on from the top you can adjust the wire so that it you know has has an angle more like this um, anyways really useful and very cheap and easy to make so here's Here's what we're going to start with. First, you'll want to decide what kind of, of metal you want to use for the stands. Um, I use either a galvanized steel wire or copper wire. Um, both of these are available at a hardware store and they're super cheap. You know, you can see this one's, you know, $5.50 for um, uh, 33 meters worth of metal. Um, and the, uh, the copper is a little bit more expensive, um, but it also has, you know, kind of a nice color. So it depends on, on how you want it to look in your case. Um, uh, for, this, the, for the galvanized steel wire, I would suggest uh, getting something that's 18 gauge. Anything less than 18 gauge is going to be um, a little bit soft and, um, and not uh, keep your stand up very well. And then for the copper wire, um, 16 gauge, because the copper wire is a little bit more um, malleable um, at the higher gauges. So, um, first you'll want to decide how long um, and how big you want your stands to be. Um, for these, so so my, my hanging cards are, um, I think, three by four inches. Um, but you can, you can use this method to make smaller or larger stands. Um, I've made stands that are as large as, I don't know, maybe 12 inches um, um, and can hold up an entire laminated uh, sheet of paper. Um, but you can also make them a lot smaller. So for something this size, you would want to cut your wire um, to be about 11 inches. It doesn't really matter that much. Um, but I just use 11 inches, somewhere between 10 and 12. Um, you'll use your um, little wire cutters to cut them uh, this size. And now you're going to first bend it in half. And you kind of, if you've got some needle nose pliers, that's going to be very useful for this. So you bend it in half and you make kind of a little U um, right there. So, and you see that the ends are about the same length, but it doesn't really matter if they're not exactly. It's no big deal. So now you're gonna take your needle nose pliers and you, you uh, clamp down on them um, so, that, so that it's level um, uh, in relation to the end of the wire. And now you bend each wire up like that. So now it looks like that. And now you flip it over, the little bent point faces you. Take your needle nose pliers and you grab it here. Um, if you have the type of needle nose pliers that are round, um, then um, this is really easy. You just grab them and you're going to twist it around all the way around so that it makes this kind of a shape. Now you do it on the other side. You grab it right here. Kind of try to make it the same length up the needle nose pliers as you did for the last one. So you grab it and you just twist it all the way around. So now it kind of looks like that. Oh look, I one of them I made a little bit bigger than the other one. Oh, that's no big deal. I just bend this one a little bit more. Nobody's going to notice 
that one is a little more twisted than the other one. And this one I could just, there. So now you just bend these so that they're straight out. Okay, we've got our little dip in the wire here, out that way, and these things are this way. And now we bend this halfway down and bend this one halfway down the other way. And you kind of want to make a bend it so that each leg um, goes out sideways and now you've got kind of a triangle that makes it nice and stable. And now you grab your your, your thing and you stick it right in there. And adjust it to whatever angle you want the, the customer to see it at. You know, however the light hits it best. And there you go. For pennies um, of wire, you've created a, a stand. And um, there you go. Here's, here's what this I'll put a copper one right next to it so you can kind of see what it looks like from the customer's point of view. Really all the customer can see is, is the metal pointing out at the bottom. So, so there! Yep, I hope that helps. Um, uh, if you have any questions about it, then shoot me an email. Um, and uh, yeah, good luck!